In this lesson, I'll show you how to prove that the left side is equal to the right side. Now, in these types of questions, you can choose either side that you feel comfortable with. I'll start with the left side, and I'll try to make it look like the right side. What I'll do is use some identities to help me along the way. I notice that I have 10 squared a. 10, or tangent, is the same thing as sine squared a over cosine squared a. So I'll replace that with the following identity. The next thing that I will do is combine these two terms. And by that I mean subtract them as if they were two fractions. For example, if I had a over b minus c over d, to combine these, I would multiply the denominators, bd, and cross multiply the denominators with the opposite numerator. So a times d is ad, and b times c is bc. Using the exact same logic, I'll put this over 1, multiply these two denominators, where I have cosine squared a, multiply cosine squared a with cosine squared a, that gives me cosine to the power of 4a, and don't forget this minus. Multiplying 1 times sine squared a, I get minus sine squared a. So I just combine these two, and I still have sine squared a out here, and I'll place a plus sign in between. The next step is to combine this term with this bigger fraction, and I'll use the same logic that I showed you here. So I'll make this sine squared a over 1, and I'll multiply the two denominators together, gives me cosine squared a. Cosine squared a times sine squared a gives us the following expression. And 1 times this expression is equal to plus negative cosine to the power of 4a minus sine squared a. Now because we have a plus outside of the brackets, we don't really need these brackets. So what you see at the top is the numerator. Now the good thing about what we have so far is that this cosine squared a, recall that we have this proof where sine squared a plus cosine squared a is equal to 1. If I rearrange this for cosine squared a, where I take this over, I end up with cosine squared a is equal to 1 minus sine squared a. I can now replace this denominator with the following identity. And that actually matches the right side. So we're on the right track. We're doing something right here. I'll be replacing this with 1 minus sine squared a. Let me show you that now. Okay. Moving forward, we still have a lot of work to do because the top part still doesn't match the top part of the right side. We have a lot of these cosines. What I will do is common factor a cosine squared a from these two terms, where I have cosine squared a bracket sine squared a. This cosine squared a goes away because I factored it out. And in this term, I end up with minus cosine squared a. And the rest stays the way it is. The reason why that's a good thing is because using the same identity as I showed you here, I'll replace this cosine squared a with 1 minus sine squared a. So I have 1 minus sine squared a in place of this, sine squared a minus cosine squared a minus sine squared a, the rest is the way it is. We will now expand these two expressions. We have a binomial here and a binomial here. So I'll multiply one times this, one times that, and the same applies to that term. Sine squared a minus cosine squared a. Notice that I multiplied one to both of these and I got that. Now I'll multiply negative sine squared a to this, and I get negative sine to the power of 4a, and negative sine squared multiplied to this is positive sine squared a, cosine squared a, and the rest stays the way it is. 
As you can tell, it is getting messy, but it needs to look bad before it can start to look better. This will cancel out with that. You see how this is positive and that's negative? They cancel. Furthermore, we still have this cosine squared a, which we need to get rid of. We also have it here too. So I'll be replacing cosine squared a found here and cosine squared a found here with the identity one minus sine squared a. Let's see what happens if we do that. We have negative one minus sine squared a minus sine to the power of four a plus sine to the power of two a bracket one minus sine squared a and the rest is the way it is. Multiplying this negative one into this expression and sine squared a into that expression, we get the following. Minus one plus sine squared a, negative sine to the power of four a, multiplying this into here, I get plus sine squared a minus sine to the power of four a. This is actually a good thing because now we can combine like terms. This one and this one are alike. Since there are two of them, I can write down negative two sine to the power of four a. These two are alike. We have two of those, so plus two sine squared a. And this minus one gets written at the end. And the denominator stays the way it is. As you can tell, this is now identical to what we have here. Therefore, the left side is equal to the right side, and we have proven this identity. And there you have it. That is how to prove trigonometric identities.